Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what side of the world you're in. I'm Half-Life Sister, and this is my hubby, Wolf Kane. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and welcome to Sister and Wolf Reaction Video, Love It or Hate It, Episode 4. Alright, so one thing we've decided to do is shoot more than one video. When we're making a, a, a Makes Us to Cry video, because it can be so emotional, uh, I want to try to make the next video something a little more uplifting. Yeah. Uh, to to make her feel better, yeah. so she's not just <laughs> feeling the sadness of the last song. So, whenever we do a makes us to cry video, we'll also shoot, uh, you know, a viewer requested video that obviously isn't a makes us to cry. It'll be a love it or hate it, or it'll be a yeah. tribute, or it'll be something uh, along those lines. And hopefully, it won't turn into a makes us to cry. Yeah, no guarantee she won't cry, but <laughs> yeah, it ain't the intent. Indeed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So this one is for Pedro. Yes, hi Pedro. Surprise. <laughs> How are you, my love? Thank you so very much. You're so wonderful, and I think you're so adorable. And I'm like, you know, we have got to do this reaction for Pedro. So man, cute. you have requested this one band <laughs> uh -huh. and song every chance you got. Every chance. So so cute. <laughs> just so you can finally rest. This yeah. one's for you, my friend. Yes, love. All right. You said it was Brazilian power metal. I love that it's from Brazil. Oh boy. <laughs> What do you mean, oh boy? What's popping? There is something about music from overseas. Uh huh. They t they tend to go big. Okay, big in so, what way? So we'll see. You know, um, the c culture and the customs are different. Okay, that's good. Nothing wrong so, with being different. I like that. Right, so you said this was Brazilian power metal. Awesome. <laughs> and I've never heard of it. And looking forward to it. This is going to be a reaction for both of us. Yeah. So there's really no intro to be had because we don't know anything about them other than that they're a Brazilian power metal band. And Pedro really, really wants us to do a reaction yeah. on it. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, man. We're doing it. Yes, baby. All here right. it is. So, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> Let's do it, Slugger. Let's here do we it. go. All right. Starts off really well. Is that a violin I'm hearing? So that's a no. That's guitar. But power metal is really just is is mostly straight guitar. Okay. But I, I remember I made a comment to you once when you asked me to describe power metal. I said it's like classical music. Yeah. Made into metal. Right, right, right. This is what I meant. I didn't this mean that they were using classical instruments. Right, right, right. What I meant was, okay. do, you, do you hear that that um, scale? You sure this is not a violin? No. They, they, they have, this, so this is like kind of a classic power metal which has a very high pitch. Okay. And I, I think this is called arpeggio, arpeggio. Okay. And again, okay. not a music expert, do not judge me, but the scales, Going uh -huh. up and down, it it feels to me like a similar, like a very fast classical song. If someone's playing uh, on the violin or the cello or or even the piano, I agree. I agree. Have you ever heard like one of those really fast? That that's what that makes me feel like. Okay, I can agree with that. So I that that's that. why I, I describe it kind of as a classical style because it's so very technical. Yeah, it is. That it almost requires like a classic type of training, a classic guitar training where you've got these masterful skills on the fingers. Are you, you know? sure this is not violin? No, it's not. Okay. It's just a high pitch on the guitar, which gotcha. makes it sound like, Ooh, I guess, like a violin, yeah. Okay. But this is the part of power metal that I love. Okay. This com complex, technical, beautiful, and very fast style. So let's, let's see how the rest is. All right. I love that speed. Right? Okay. I, I did hear some violin back That's there. That's a though. violin, I know what it is. I did hear violin back there, yeah. I love violin. Very nice. Oh, 
got louder. Tell me what you think of the voice. The voice is beautiful. Very powerful. Because to me, what makes or breaks power metal is the voice, how over the top it is. And Pedro, I'm not going to lie. When you said Brazilian power metal, I was expecting a little more over the top than this because over the seas metal uh, tends to be a little more exaggerated. But this this is not that bad. I, I'm this is enjoying not bad this so at all. far. Not that bad? This is not bad at all. This is beautiful. Yeah, I, I don't think the, the, the vocals are too ridiculous or cheesy. I'm I agree. getting a nice I'm getting a nice balance. That. Maybe Pedro knows, but the violin sound that they're using, sometimes often bands will use a keyboard to simulate violin. I'm wondering if they're doing that or if they actually have violins in this song. Hmm. It sounds like it's an actual violin. The, early on, it sounded like a real violin. Towards like this part here, it did sound more like a, like a keyboard uh, playing. But the guitar itself sounds like... Do you remember... You know there's like an English, I don't know if it's a piano, but there's this English instrument that sounds not like a bill, but almost like a combination of a bill and a piano. It's, you know, you see the people with the wigs play it and it's very, I can't think of the, the name of the instrument, but it, the, the guitar, the way I have it high pitched and the way they're playing it makes me feel like, like that's a very similar sound or like a similar feel to it. All right. much to this song. Not very straightforward. Now let's take it off. <laughs> that positive this is power so metal. Beautiful. Fly with me. awesome. It's so triumphant. Pedro! I 
things up a little bit here. Oh man. Oh, oh wow. Hmm. Pedro. Soldiers. Oh. Hmm. This is power metal. It's definitely power this metal. This is definitely power metal. I, I one of my soldiers commented saying that they think that uh power metal is for me. Wolf. I think they're right. <laughs> I, I I'm really feeling power metal. I really am. So this had all of the ingredients for greatness that I'm comfortable that 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 I come to understand as power metal. Okay. Um, I have heard some different styles of power metal. Okay. Um, this is more of that classical of what I have in my mind as what power metal sounds like. Okay. Um, it's like I've always described it. The the guitar work is phenomenal. It is. Oh and, wow. And for me, it always comes down to the Ooh. voice. I, I I wasn't particularly bothered by his voice, but I'm still not a huge fan of that. Really. Yeah, oh. there's here's here's the thing. And that's okay. That's okay. Don't judge power metal by my opinion because I have a very particular taste. And happy music makes me irritable. <laughs> I am generally a very happy person in my own life that when I get it from a song, it becomes unnecessary. Um, uh. I've always had an issue with society and humans coexisting in general. I have always felt like an outsider, and because of that, I tend to connect with things that are contradictory to the majority. I can you know? appreciate that. Okay. Especially when the majority is causing harm or hypoc you know, hi being hypocritical. All right. And when when I hear like really happy music, it just it for some reason it's always made me angry. Gotcha. Whereas doom and gloom and and things that were dark made me there. happy because it it resonated with me and felt more real, felt more pure. I understand. Um. It's it's part of what's always drawn me to the to the metal that I listen to, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, and power metal tends to be more upbeat. You heard the choruses and everything were very upbeat, yeah. very happy, yeah. um, but not so happy to the point that I didn't enjoy the song. Good. Um, what's wrong with happy though? Stop. <laughs> There's nothing it, wrong with happy. But it, I, I it just doesn't resonate that. with me as strongly as if the song or the vocals perhaps were darker. That, that tends to resonate everything. more with me personally. That's that's all I'm saying. That's fine. The song was was great, um, but it's not something that I, I I would listen to on a regular basis. Really? Only because like I'm very again because I'm very picky. There's certain things I would have liked them to change. Like what? To make it perfect. Like what? Because I think this song was perfect. I wasn't crazy about the chorus. Really? You that's know. One of the Parts that I love the most, and and that's why you may just be more a fan of power metal because that's a very typical power metal chorus, but I want something darker, to be so 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 joyful and so full of hope, and <laughs> you know it just doesn't resonate with me. It's 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 more of a feel than than the quality issue because I think the quality of the song was excellent. Yes, it was. So love it or hate it, I still love it because I you awesome. know. My, my issues are my own, you know, and my, my taste and, and the feeling. If I'm just judging it from a technical aspect, it didn't feel cheesy. And yeah. that's a big problem I have yeah. with power metal is when they get too yeah, cheesy. You told me that. Yeah. I, wasn't, I didn't feel like I was cringing in any part of the song. I felt like overall the song w was really good. And I love the implementation of the violins with the, with the guitar. Yeah. And, I, you know, and, and another thing that you, you mentioned, the, the constant tempo changes. Yes. Um, the composition. That's yes, also composition. another thing that I, reminds me of like classical uh, music is that it's from beginning to end, it's a complete composition. Right, right, it's right. not just uh, a Play beat the guitar. chorus, beat chorus, yeah. end, you know. Right, right, right. And then maybe a solo and then end. Uh -huh. There's... They, they brought all those things, those, those ingredients together. To There's a beautiful. story there, yeah. Yeah, totally. There's so, definitely a story there. Another thing that I love about power metal. So, yeah. you know, I, I definitely want to have more of an open mind because I feel like there is a lot of, that I'm missing out on. I agree. Um, I mean, I've missed out on this all my life. Yeah. I want more. So I, I definitely want to give it a second chance. And obviously, this is, this is for her anyway. So ultimately, yeah. <laughs> she's a fan. And I think we're starting to realize that power metal is, is something she is, is, seems to be drawn to. Yeah. I love it so, so far. So far, I love it. Yeah, I'd like you guys to recommend uh, the best Blind Guardian song and some more good power metal suggestions. But again, 
Pedro, thank you. This was for you. You can rest, my friend, or re request another <laughs> another song, I guess. Yes, please. But uh, at least we got that one out the way, yes, and babe. you know we're going to try to get to as many viewer requests as possible. Indeed. And uh, we appreciate the support and the love, of course. Indeed. Thank you so very much, everyone. And don't forget to follow her on Twitch. Yes. Please follow me on Twitch. Keep it metal. Yeah, keep it metal. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Please click the link below to see my schedule on Twitch and join me live and be a part of all the beautiful fun. Now, before you go, please don't forget to click that follow button. And if you don't want to miss out, be sure to turn your notifications on. Uh, but if you ever miss any of my streams, you can always watch them back with ease by clicking here. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to follow, subscribe, like, and share. <laughs>